And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Super! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lance 
game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Checks the light kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Going for the leg kick, he does not connect. Under three minutes to go in round one. That was a thudding leg kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you can hit for a shot like that, to stay standing so and talk to your toughness. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Trying to establish that jab once again. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, and he caught the kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good stick. Lee gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big leg kick lands. Oh, nice right hand, John. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Twenty seconds left. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big leg kick land. Final seconds here. Checks that leg kick. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. There by Lee. That's a good knee to the body. Over and over, he's landing with big body kicks. And he landed the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
real sneaky body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Beautiful punch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. What a punch. Let your hands go. Let that was lightning fast, that right hand. Just misses with the left hook. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Went for the inside leg kick. Beautiful body kick. And there comes the separation now. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Put your hands up higher. Come on. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Big body kick. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, wow, oh! Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice. Ooh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Ten seconds remain in round two. Some fighters shy away from, from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got, his, he's got him, 
set up the way he wants it. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Head kick is blocked. Kick to the body by Lee. Punch over the top. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Great job of landing that kick over and over again. And he continues to work the body here. Nice strike. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A little bit. Horrible. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Three minutes remain in the round. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, looking to land the right kick, but unable to find the target. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. The offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full on display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.